Hey guys, what is up? It's Antonio. Welcome back to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. Today, we're doing a disc review on the MVP Wave. If you're brand new to my channel, I wanna welcome you. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And make sure you guys check out gladiatordiscgolf.com for all the latest things on Gladiator Disc Golf, including discount codes, videos, and blog posts. Over the last couple weeks, I got some MVP waves from OTB Discs. Awesome, awesome sponsors, by the way. And they hooked me up with some great ones. We have here a Neutron Plastic MVP Wave, and then one of the prettiest discs I've ever seen, the Plasma Wave. Um, this thing has got swirls for days. It is just awesome. The stamp is great. Really, really like them so far. So if you're unfamiliar with the MVP Wave, it is a gyro technology distance driver. So MVP, their entire lineup, and they, and they um, produce Axiom and Streamline and Mint as well. Streamline and, and Mint don't have the gyro technology, Axiom and MVP do. With that being said, the technology behind it all is basically to have a lightweight flight plate and to have most of the weight in the rim of the disc to, in regard to physics, to get faster spin, faster speeds, further distance, all right? And so with that being said, that's why you have this black rim on MVP and Axiom has different colored rims, no black rims. So that's one of the differences between the two. But with that being said, the MVP Wave is a distance driver. It's 11 speed, five glide, minus two turn, and two fade. This is a great, great driver for beginner, intermediate, and advanced and pro players. Really for everyone. Everybody has a reason to throw the MVP Wave. And I guess we could almost just end the video right there, but let me get into why it's such a great driver and why I've been so impressed with it over the last couple of weeks and why it's become one of the, the new understable driver in my bag. When talking about hand feel, flatter discs are great for forehand for my preference. I don't like discs that are too domey because then my grip feels off. And so when I hold the wave on the forehand, it feels great in the forehand. It's not too tall here on the rim and the rim itself is not too wide whatsoever at an 11 speed. We're talking about a really comfortable rim. If you throw uh, rates in of a rates, you are pretty comfortable or familiar rather with 11 speed rims. If you throw dynamic disc chest passes, that's an 11 speed with a comparable rim. The Wave is more understable than both of those discs. We're talking straight out of the box. Obviously, if you beat in a Wraith or a Trespass, they can be like a Wave, but out of the box, these are more understable. So that leads to my next point. Not only is the hand feel great, and I really feel like both forehand and backhand, I can control this disc and I feel confident with it, but the understability of it really helps me manipulate it out on the course, okay? I love throwing hyzer flips with the wave and because it's so understable, I will throw it on a hyzer angle, it will flip up, it will turn and then fade at the end. It's not going to fight all the way back to the center line that I threw it on. It's gonna, on a forehand, it's gonna stay to the left, but, um, I can compensate for that. And that's what's great about the understable disc. I can throw it on more hyzer if I want a straighter flight out of it without it turning too much one way or the other. What are some expected flights that you might have for the wave depending on your skill level? Well, if you're novice, beginner, recreational level player, this should be, I would say, your max driver. And this is not a disc that you should be picking up a lot. I'm a firm believer that very few people should have distance drivers in their bag unless oh, you know they're throwing a mid-range almost 300 feet, if not over 300 feet, okay? Because if you can't throw a mid-range close to 300 feet, then you're really not going to get the max distance out of a distance driver. And so that's just something to consider. However, 
even for a beginner or a novice, having this understable of a disc is a great way to maybe have some kind of utility roller. All right, you have that option as well. You'll have to force it over a little bit or to not have it in the back, but have it for a field work disc, working on your form, practicing getting that nose down when you throw and just building that arm speed, okay? Now, when it comes to uh, intermediate and advanced divisions, this is definitely a disc that players at that skill level can have in the bag because you are able, whether it's backhand or forehand, able to manipulate and control the disc. You have the arm speed or the forehand power in my case for it. And so you're able to get some great distance with these discs. Intermediate players can throw 400 feet, um, but typically if you're looking at 400 to 450 feet, you're looking at probably a pro, uh, excuse me, an advanced player. Uh, somebody who can really crush a disc and who has a really strong game. And so a wave is going to be a huge hyzer flip tool for those kinds of power players, all right? And probably even a good utility roller or a great tailwind driver. This, because this disc is understable in a tailwind, it's going to fly really, really nice. You'll get some turn out of it, but it will fade a lot sharper because that tailwind makes it more overstable. Now, when it comes to the pros, <laughs> we have to sort of think about what they're able to do with the disc. And it's just absolutely insane. So when we're talking about this, the wave for a pro, it's very similar to what I would say for the upper echelon of the advanced players, using it as a roller, using it as a hyzer flip, navigate through the woods kind of disc, and a tailwind bomber. I don't personally think that a pro is going to take out the wave on a 350 foot hole. Okay, like an intermediate or a lower um, advanced player might. So that's some of the differences there, where for an intermediate to lower advanced, it might be a max bomber for about 350 to 375. The pros are gonna be throwing like a mid-range <laughs> or maybe a fairway driver on that distance. So that's something to consider. I do think that it is a great disc for everyone to try out. I've been really, really impressed with it, guys. One of my biggest complaints with some manufacturers and some discs, out of the box, they just tend to be so overstable and not true to their numbers. And do they season to become what their flight numbers say? Yes. But there's something to be said for a disc and for a company where when you take the disc out of the box and you throw it on the field, it has the numbers that it says here, okay? And that's something that I can truly say about my waves that I got here. They are on the lighter weight scale because I prefer lighter weights for my distance drivers. So I, this one is 169 and this one is 163. This one I can get to really, 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 really turn and hardly fade. So this is like a tailwind driver for sure. Whereas this one is more of a go-to no matter the wind, really not a headwind. Uh, that is one of the weaknesses to the wave is you don't want to throw this in a headwind unless. So what we're seeing here is that Yes, I'm throwing them hard, but they're distance drivers that are made to be thrown hard. What we're seeing is that this headwind, even on highs or release, the wave's turning over, okay? Unless you're trying to go from, unless you're trying to like flip it into a roller a little bit further down the fairway, don't throw these in a headwind. So that's basically it, guys. The hand feel is great. It has a little bit of a flatter top. Okay, so keep that in mind. It, the rim is not too wide, I think, for any skill level player. It has a lot of optimal flights for players of all skill levels, and you can really use it um, in a lot of different ways. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. Until next time, have a great round.